And there's the forecast for that Indians game tonight. It's a thirsty Thursday. First pitch at 6:35 p.m. A warm start to the game and pretty comfortable by the end. Not too terribly humid out there. The air is still very dry, so a nice night for baseball. Here is tropical depression, Francine, as the remnants of this system, which was a category two hurricane yesterday as it made landfall. We are now seeing that continuing to weaken rapidly, and it is currently centered over Jackson, Mississippi. We're going to continue to see that working its way north, and by Friday, that's when we're going to see rain chances arriving here. So today you're dry. Any outdoor plans? You don't need rain gear with you. Now, unfortunately for us, because our air is so dry, we've been enjoying a dry heat. It is also going to play a role in how much rain we see. So as the system moves north, comes in as we get towards daybreak tomorrow, it just continues to get torn apart by this very dry air mass that we have overhead. So this takes us to 1.30 p.m. tomorrow, and it's going to be pretty spotty on who's getting that rainfall, and it's going to favor the southwestern side of central Indiana. Areas farther north, you're not likely to see rain for tomorrow, and that's going to be the case as we get into the weekend too. So good news for any of your Friday night plans. If you're going to be out seeing some high school football tomorrow, not likely to see too much in the way of rainfall, but we still need that rain, and it's really the southwestern side of the state that is more favorable to get it. Maybe some lucky locations here see up to about a half an inch of rain. Something we'll continue to watch as that moves closer. I have 89 today, 80 tomorrow, right around average for this time of year, and then we're back into the mid 80s with a couple. Body showers this weekend and more of that summery heat continuing on into next week. Melissa.